My visual friends, hello and welcome back to our series on electrical engineering. Today, we'll have a short and simple tutorial on saturated op amps. Let's consider the simplest possible case, this inverting amplifier. It is powered by a 2 voltage power supply, plus 5 and negative 5 volts. The power supply presents a restriction to the output voltage. V out will swing as a magnified replica of V in, the input voltage, but it cannot exceed the range negative VCC to positive VCC, negative 5 to positive 5 volts in our case. We call those two voltages the rails of the power supply. The output V out must stay within those two rails. Well, this is the case in an expensive so called rail to rail op amp. In lower priced op amps, the out doesn't even get that close to the rails. The cheaper ones reduce the range by somewhere between 2 to 3 volts. Please read the data sheet of your op amp. But in this discussion, we will assume a perfect rail to rail op amp, which, by the way, in the real rail to rail um, op amp, V out oscillates between negative VCC plus 0.1 volts and positive VCC minus 0.1 volts. So it, its output does not quite get to the rail, but it gets pretty close to it. This inverting amplifier has a voltage gain of negative 10. It's um, negative 100k divided by 10k, negative 10. So that V out is negative 10 times V in, or the same, V in is negative 0.1 times V out, one tenth of V out, with a change of sign. If the question asks us, what is the maximum positive value of the input voltage V in that will not saturate the op amp, we send the output on the negative rail. After all, this is an inverting amplifier, right? V out is negative 5, and then we work backwards. We compute what is the input, and the input would be V in positive 0 0.5 volts. That is the maximum input voltage that will not saturate the op amp. A similar analysis on the other rail tells us that the input voltage must stay above negative 0.5 volts. And there is a range of the input voltage that will not saturate the amplifier. V in must stay within the negative 0.5 and positive 0.5 volts range. But the question is, what happens if the input exceeds that range, let's say? What if the input voltage is, let's say, 0.6 volts? In that case, the output would try to reach for negative 6 volts, which is negative 10 times the input, which is below the lower rail, and the output would get stuck, we hope, at the lower rail value, probably. In short, we guess that the output is going to be negative 5 volts, and we have to prove it. Prove it how? By computing Vn and Vp, and ensuring that Vn is greater than Vp, which is a negative saturation condition, right? The input current here is zero, so the same current Ix flows through both resistors. Computing that current is simply using Ohm's law. Ix is Vn minus Vout, divided by the total resistance. Ix is uh, 51 microamperes. That current creates a voltage drop in the 100 kilo ohm resistor, Ohm's law, right? So Vn is higher than Vout by that drop. Vn is 91 millivolts, which is higher than Vp. That has a value of zero in this circuit. That is, Vn is indeed higher than Vp, and we have proven that the amp is negatively saturated. The amplifier is negatively saturated and the out is indeed a negative VCC, negative 5 volts in our case. Sometimes after all of this, VN turns out to be not higher than VP, and so we must set the output at the other rail, which is counterintuitive, but this is a non-linear circuit after all, okay? And then what? And then we recompute Vn, recompute Vp, and we prove that in this case Vn is less than Vp, which is a condition for positive saturation. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let's summarize. First, I check what are the limits for the input voltage that will not saturate my amplifier. Then, if the input exceeds those limits, 
we know that they are bumpy saturated. Set the output to the closest rail, compute VP and VN, and check if you are on the correct side of saturation. If you're not, set the output on the other rail and repeat. And that is all, my friends. Thank you very much, and I hope to meet with you again in our next video.